Hello and welcome to another Out of Spec Reviews video. Welcome back to another top speed Autobahn review and welcome here to the Audi e-tron GT. This is my friend Chris's car who has an EV YouTube channel that'll be linked in the description. Very kind of him to let me get in the car and shred it at max speed down the Autobahns. But we're gonna load up the car with some friends and we're gonna see how well this thing handles cruising down the Autobahn in its home turf right here in Germany at top speed. This is the Audi e-tron GT and you have to forgive some of the noise. We have it DC fast charging. It's just about to complete at 100%. So we'll have a full battery with all the power ready to deploy. This is not the RS e-tron GT. This is just the GT, but that doesn't mean it's slow. This should still do close to 250 kilometers per hour. A serious, serious high speed car. Some stats for you. It can charge at about 270 kilowatts. It does about 250 miles miles of range, real world, maybe a little bit more. It costs about in the US $120,000 spec like this with a performance package. And it's just really an awesome car. Underneath, a lot of those stats may sound like Taycan and that's because it is. It's actually a Taycan vehicle underneath that Audi has just put in their own put their own design and suspension and things like this and adapted the car for their brand a little bit. But inside, it feels very much like that car right there. So what do you say we jump in, see how this thing handles top speed. The wing is adjustable and deployable as well. So you can raise and lower it depending on the speed you wanna go. I'm looking forward to it. And then we'll jump on the road and hit max speed. Chris, thank you so much for letting us use your e-tron. Thanks for letting me ride along in my e-tron. <laughs> and not even use your e-tron. We are going to go maximum speed in your e-tron. Yeah, you're really gonna... We're not gonna hit this EQC behind us. They're leaving the wrong direction, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had trouble charging, didn't they, Timon? Yeah, so they had a faulty card, so they had to call the... Oh, Ionity, like, I guess. Yeah, and activate company. their charger. Mm -hmm great turning radius in this car of course being rear steering so yeah. that's one of the best things on this vehicle so here we go let's hope they stop for us yeah so this car in particular has the dynamic package i don't know if you get that in the us yeah, but i think we call it the performance pack or something like this yeah, yeah, yeah. so it gets the uh it gets the electromechanical steering mm -hmm. uh, and then it also gets the rear differential right it gets the four-wheel steer yeah and also the upgraded carbide brakes oh nice very cool so, so not necessarily carbon ceramic brakes but it's the one up from a steel it's a little yeah bit, it's uh, i don't think uh, uh, audi give you carbon ceramics right so this is like their carbon ceramics this is like a carbon compound called carbide oh very cool so it's probably close but because of marketing like porsche surface coated brakes yeah yeah so that's probably what it'll be. So merging on, uh, getting out of this parking lot, of course, we're charged up to 100% state of charge. We're in comfort mode right now. When we go quickly, we'll bump it up to dynamic mode. Um, do you know the horsepower of this car? So this in boost mode, 530 horsepower, and then off boost mode, it's 476. So I think that should be adequate to get us up to speed, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, I really yeah. love this car, by the way. You did a great job specking it, just white, black, mm classic i think e-tron gt looks best in white personally yeah. but it's actually not white it's suzuka gray uh, that's right it's suzuka gray which is almost white yeah so it's white in the daytime but as <laughs> the sun sets it yep. gets more and more gray it's, yep. it's it's a really cool color so it's basically i have two cars in one so it's really good value for the money <laughs> and what are some videos that you do with this car that we could you know have our audience check out perhaps so of course i got this car last week last thursday today's friday so i've had it for eight days i just yeah. took it right down and to you Germany. already have yeah. a ton of miles you've been road tripping yeah. it everywhere so i do only ev stuff on my channel so i do usually the typical reviews but i also do range tests charging tests and i also do more vlog stuff so i do a lot of road trips so i did you know a trip down here to Germany to the IAA, IAA and also to meet up Kyle? Yep. So those are out on my channel, a few road trip videos, and I've you know driven a Polestar 2 from Norway to Italy and then back again, about 3,000 miles in five days <laughs> in a Polestar 2. Nice. So, you know, I do EV content. That's really cool, and, and you have a lot of fun, of course, doing yeah. it. And you buy cool cars. You're not just yes. reviewing them, you actually yeah. own them. Yeah. So um, that's part of what I do also like. I've had several press cars of these, but yep. buying it and you know, 
having the freedom to say and do what you want and put as many models as gives you know me a different experience and mm -hmm. gives the channel videos that I wouldn't else uh, uh, otherwise be able to make right yep absolutely totally agree so we have the wing down now okay okay so how do we actually put the wing up uh, so you just drop the menu here and then you just then you press the that wing up. so I think we'll start with the wing down mm -hmm. and then we'll see when we put it up the difference in terms of uh, high-speed stability because it does sound like quite a big difference yeah yeah, neat. Well, we'll try this out for sure. Sitting in traffic, of course, uh, you know, this car is all the adaptive cruise control lane centering. We're not talking about any of that. We're talking about top speed. The one last thing I want to touch on before we get to a de-restricted section is the two-speed gearbox. Yeah. One of the best things about this car is the two-speed gearbox for here in Germany. For like every other market, I think it's overcomplicated. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, and like, I don't know why they did all this, but they did this so the car has acceleration at high speed yeah and so this thing accelerating above 100 kilometers per hour feels still very strong and very stable all the way up to the end so yeah. we'll test it out but uh, it'll be in second gear pretty much a lot of time today yeah because we'll be pegged right up at the limiter see you in the de-restricted section we have just entered a de-restricted section so I'm going to turn driver assistance off we're going to select dynamic mode and is everyone holding on for dear life all oh. right Man, it rips and the noise is pretty yeah. cool too. And there's 180, 190, 200. <laughs> and then of course, because the battery's full, there's very little regen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And back to hard throttle. Wow, does this thing just get up and go like, what do you need an RS for? Yeah, I don't know, for more acceleration, <laughs> but it has the same top speed, I think, the RS. Yeah, I, I believe same, the yeah. same top same speed. Top but speed. this gets up to top speed like this. Yeah, I know. It's so, like, like, you know, you're spending, what was it, 40,000 euros, 30,000 euros, a big difference yeah, between the four, two. Between 35 and 40,000 euros, more for the RS. Yeah, and look at this, still big power. Yeah. <laughs> and we're on the 20 inch wheels on this car yes. with 285 section rear yeah. tires, as you say, for efficiency. Yeah, for efficiency. <laughs> But look at the way this thing just clobbers up onto people. It's yeah. insane. We just leave everyone in the dust. Yeah. You just go full power and boom. Crazy. Crazy capable car. And at 190, it's so quiet. Yeah, I mean, we can I mean, No here. vibrations, no, no, no noise. No. Looks like there's a little Mustang in front of us. Yeah. Perhaps we can find someone to play around with. Let's see. Is that a... Uh... There's 220. <laughs> 230. <laughs> this is the uh, Steve It's a bullet. Motion. The yeah. bullet one. Yeah. yeah, the bullet one. Oh, he's scared. Yeah, yeah like, he's uh, like Should I'm we pull up go. next to him and yeah. give it the beans really quick? Yeah, yeah. American Here we are. And yeah. he's not even looking. <laughs> <laughs> he knows he's going to he lose. Knows. Uber hold prestige yeah, here yeah. in this car. Everyone gets out of the way. It doesn't help if you have a big V8. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's worried about the gas prices here, though. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I can't go and throw because I'm. I'll have to refuel up here. <laughs> Meanwhile, this, you get actually pretty good range driving quickly. Yeah. The other night, we should say, we drove back Stuttgart to Munich, sort of racing. In, no, uh, we not, racing. not racing at no, all no, for no. anyone watching no, from no, the no, government. No, no, no. And uh, Volkswagen Phaeton in front of us, by yeah, the way. That's right. exciting. Yeah. Uh, we were really ripping on the way back and yeah. in the Taycan and this, but we went like a long distance. Yeah, so I calculated, so you, you I mean, I left you behind because I wanted to go home to get yeah, some yeah. sleep. Yep. And you met up with some people just, you know, doing a conversation. But yeah, yeah. our average speed was, or average time was actually two and a half, hour, less than two and a half hours to cover uh, 250 kilometers, so about 160, yeah. 70 miles yep. with two charging stops Yep. and one, stop at mcdonald's yeah and our chargers were even slow like we yeah. didn't even get great charges yeah so it's insane that you can you know average above 60 miles an hour with charging and and not yeah. even charging fast like no, we no, charged no. we dally dallied we yeah. yeah crazy yeah very impressive let's get on to some more open section of road mm -hmm. and then of course we'll be back to filming some more and we're about to merge back onto the freeway. We still have, or freeway, excuse me, Autobahn. <laughs> Lifted Volkswagen Golf uh, Special Edition in front of us. That looks so cool. Yeah, that's so Let's cool. test some handling, shall we? So throw it into the corner. <laughs> Rear steer really working well. Yeah. <laughs> this is just crazy. Really good grip, of course. 
<laughs> That's the best part of this I car. I can feel my brain moving in this my skull. Like, well, it's so big, it's so yeah. heavy, but then it's... Uh, uh, yeah, it's so uh, impressive. It's wild, and a lot of this is down to the rear steering, of course, yeah. just helping to pivot the car, rotate it. So once we get up here, we'll hopefully blow past some of these guys. That guy was ripping, so we should have a bit of open stretch to deploy full acceleration. You want to do the wing now? Or you want to yeah, let's wing? put the wing up. Okay, so I'll put the wing up. Yep, wings up now. We're about to merge left. Here we go. Full power. Goodbye, Kia Sorento. Adios. <laughs> so amazing. This thing is just a freight train, even up yeah. on the uphill. Come on, Fiat 500, out of our way. <laughs> and you can feel it like uh, when we're in dynamic now and you're going full throttle, yeah. it will, you know, uh, shift up at around 130 kilometers an hour. Right. And then you will feel like a like a second yeah, wave like of a second wave of acceleration. That's because of the gearing, right? Do you have yep. the same amount of power, but it's easier to spin the the wheels, and then like it's it's like almost you get this extra boost. That's awesome. Yeah. Going by a Model S here. Yeah. Look at these people bought a Tesla. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye. Nose. <laughs> <laughs> Was he really? Yeah. That's great. And here we go up to max speed: 220, 230. 240, it's starting to back off now. 244, 245. Oh, it's so smooth at these speeds. No one's behind us. We'll merge left so we don't blind the blow by these people. 248, max speed. Look at this thing, just cruising along at 155, close to 160 miles an hour. No problem at all in the e-tron. And with the wing deployed, it's so stable and oh, precise. So it's stable. Nice. This guy bought an S5, should have bought an e-tron GT. True, true. <laughs> you bought the wrong car, dude. <laughs> and it just loves to sit here. It won't yeah. overheat, we've learned. It just does this all day. Yeah, it just goes. Wow. Well, this is a serious weapon. <laughs> and the braking is strong, too. Yeah. I mean, with now that we have the battery dropped down a bit, it's, it's uh, accepting regen. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, we can use regen plus friction brakes, and it really slows this thing down nicely. It's crazy that that's legal, <laughs> and I love it so much. <laughs> there you have it, the Audi e-tron GT at top speed on the German Autobahn on home turf at 250 kilometers per hour with my friend Chris Rifa, with Alyssa, with Timon. Did you guys have fun? Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Well, can, we'll see can, you. Can, can we do it again? Yeah, we can do it again. <laughs> Once it's de-restricted, then we'll go. <laughs> well, thanks for watching another Out of Spec Reviews video. We will, of course, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.